Jamie from Waterloo, Ontario. We got a bunch of Canucks writing in. My question is regarding the Nasty Boys and Outsiders beef in WCW. I saw a clip on YouTube where Ted DiBiase mentioned there was an incident at a house show, not going into too much detail. He said the Outsiders had a match with the Nasty Boys. At one point, Scott Hall threw a chair at Jerry Sags. Sags then punched Hall, resulting in Hall getting a black eye. The Nasty Boys ended up being fired over it. Was there heat between these teams before this, or was it a random incident? So let me correct the record on this, because the Nasty... I don't believe the Nasty Boys were were fired after this, or at least Nobbs wasn't, and he went on to have a singles run in WCW. So what happened is this, because there have been multiple shoot interviews over the years with Kevin Nash on his podcast has talked about this. Scott Hall talked about this. Sean Waltman talked about this because it's partially his fault. And the Nasty Boys have talked about this. And Eric Bischoff has talked about this. So there's a lot of different versions of what went down. What happened is they had worked together previously. And I believe Scott Hall may have may have hurt Jerry Sag. Sags had a bad neck. Hall may have thrown a chair at him. There, there was something that happened prior to this. And they were going to work. It was a house show in Louisiana. I don't remember exactly where. It's not important. I know they were in uh, New Orleans for Nitro that, that Monday, though. But they were in Louisiana, and they were working. I think it was the Outsiders, the Nasty Boys, and the Faces of Fear. Meng and the Barbarian. They were having like a three-way tag team match. And Sags was in the back. He was talking to J.J. Dillon and Kevin Sullivan. And I don't know if he didn't want to go out there because his neck was bothering him. They told him, look, you're on the marquee. It's a big match on the show. We need you to go out there and work. And so and so he did. And I think Nobbs did most of the work in the match. There was one point where Sags got hit in the back of the head. And it didn't injure him. You know, he wasn't bleeding or anything like that. But he felt it. Right, it hurt him briefly, he felt it, he turned around, and he saw Scott Hall holding a chair. Now, the reason I mentioned that it was Sean Waltman's fault, partially, and Waltman has admitted this, he was supposed to do a run-in in in that match. I think he had a match earlier on the show, he got hurt, is the story, I believe, and so he didn't come out. They're waiting for him to come out, he was going to run in and give him some kind of a weapon or a gimmick, and they were going to use it to win the match. There's no Sean Waltman, we're six. Right? There's no six. So things kind of broke down at that point. Anyway, Sags turns around. He thinks that Scott Hall hit him. And one version is that it wasn't really Scott Hall that hit him, even though he turned around and saw Scott with a chair. It was actually Kevin Nash who had hit him with the tag title belt. Whatever it was, he saw Scott Hall holding a chair, and he flipped his lid. And now, the Nasties normally would lay in their shit, but like he was... These were not work punches. He got in the ring and he was working Scott Hall over to the point where it wasn't just that Scott Hall had a black eye. He was bleeding. He was bleeding from the mouth. I think he might have had at least a tooth or more than one tooth knocked out because I know Nash said Hall needed dental work. So they get to the back. Now, Kevin Nash is hot about this, right? He's pissed. And he gets to the back. And Sting was working that night. He's doing the crow gimmick and he had the baseball bat. So he took Sting's bat. And he was going to go either threaten or he was going to beat the shit out of Sags with the bat. And Hall told him, don't do it. He says, he, Jerry thinks he's right. It's like, what do you mean? He goes, he thinks he's right. He thinks he didn't do anything wrong. Just leave it alone. And Nash went over to them anyway. He swung the baseball bat at the Nasty Boys, but he swung it, whatever it was, six or nine inches above their head. You know, to send him a message. And then Nash made some kind of comment to the effect of, we'll see who has the real stroke in this company, motherfuckers. And that was the incident. That's what went down. Nash was pissed because he saw his his buddy get beaten up. And now Hall had to come off the road and they were supposed to work more dates together. Meanwhile, I think Hall was on Nitro that Monday anyway. I don't know if he worked or not, but... This all gets back to Eric Bischoff, who now has to take different accounts from people on what happened and, you know, find out which version is the right version. And he was going to fire the Nasty Boys. And it was Scott Hall who said, look, I don't want to work with them, but, like, don't fire them. You know, I know know these guys, because they had gotten along well in the past. There was no real pre-existing heat prior to any of this happening. 
And he knew of SAGs because I guess they came up in the Minnesota area together. And he's like, he's got kids. Like, don't fire the guy. And I don't think Bischoff did. I don't think, I don't think even SAGs got fired. But SAGs did file a lawsuit against WCW. I know that. And Nash has told the story that not only did he file a lawsuit against WCW, he filed a lawsuit personally against Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. And Kevin Nash's whole thing is, you stupid idiot. He says the one person who could have, I guess, been like a witness to you in your lawsuit against the company over what happened, it could have been, it could have been him, it could have been them, but then he sued them personally. And Nash says that there was mediation, they had to go in and talk to lawyers and everything, and so he goes, he's not very bright because Sags had a $300,000 a year job, he sued the company and got $150,000 and was blackballed at that point. And that's his version of, of events. So that was it. I mean, it was boys being boys, you know, one guy got really pissed off about something he, that happened or that he thought happened, and he, he beat up maybe the wrong guy, depending on which version you believe. Uh, but that pissed off Kevin Nash. He threatened them. Lawsuit was filed. That was the end of the Nasty Boys run in WCW. Brian Nobbs went on to become a hardcore champion in the company. And I'm not aware of Jerry Sags ever coming back anywhere. You know, not to any major promotion. Maybe he worked indies after that. But he really was, he really was kind of uh, blackballed in a way after that. He never had a major run anywhere else, to my knowledge. 